Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Robert. How are you doing today? Excellent, teacher. Very good. And um, right now, I I am going to listening because I have a little problem. For okay. that reason, I am listening, teacher. Okay, no problem. It's okay. okay, thanks. Yes, it's okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, Daniela, you will be as a listener too? No, teacher. No, okay. I can see the word that says oyente. Maybe because you saved it last time, right? Okay. Andres, what about you? How are you today? I'm sorry, teacher. Right now, I yes, uh, so I work late, but I go from my from my house right now. So when I arrive to my house, I'm going to turn off turn on my my camera, teacher. That's okay. It's okay. So you are driving. We, right now, I'm going to take my my car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 No problem. Thank you so much for letting us know. Okay, Gilberto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? Uh, my work, uh, everything is fine. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, but to try to sponsor that uh, book, Harvey. Are you, did you go to Sonsonate today? Go Harvey, he empezado, ¿verdad? Can you hear me, Gilberto? Si me escucha. Go Harvey, yes. Go okay. Harvey, lengo, he empezado. What do you want to say? I'm sorry. Hey, teacher. Yes. Hello. Do you mind if you repeat? Uh, what do you want to say? In my world, everything is fine. Bugs to trick to sons to a son son at the uh, book LB. Uh, uh, so I didn't, me tocó pesado pues viajar hoy a Sonsonate, ¿verdad? Pero sí el trabajo estuvo bien. Oh, it was, it was really hard to go to Sonsonate. Okay. I understand. Good. Well, it is because you had to travel a lot of travel. kilometers. Uh-huh. That okay. is that is the reason why you feel like that. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh Katy Briseida, welcome. Hazel, welcome to this class. Maria Leticia. Good evening, everyone. So I hope you are okay. Uh, okay, I have another. Ah, okay, lady says that is that is raining a lot where she is. She will be just as a listener. Okay. Okay, no problem. So let me share my screen.
Okay, today is Tuesday, September the 12th, 2023. This is a class 17 uh, from your model one, intermediate English. Okay, so the agenda for today, we have a uh, lesson objective, right? Then we are going to speak about this organi organization staff in, in your workplace. And, and at the end, we're going to have a conversation about that. Uh, at the end of this class, you will be able to provide effective strategies to avoid overstaffing and uh, understand understaffing. Okay, so first I have one activity that is related to the scheduled every day, but this is not at workplace, this is at your house. So what is your scheduled day? Uh, what do you do first? What is the, in the first position, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven? Okay, all these activities that we have here, what is the first activity that you do during in the, in the get, day? Get up. Get up, okay. That will be the first. The second one? Have breakfast. Have breakfast, okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Go to school. Go to school. Mm -hmm. Have have lunch. Have lunch. Or go home. Or it could and be then, go home. Uh -huh, and then have, and then lunch. have lunch. Mm -hmm. Have uh, dinner. Have dinner. Go to bed. And go to the bed. Okay, that is a normal schedule for someone who only uh, uh, go to school, right? Or it could be the other way around. So you can have lunch outside and then you go home. Okay, good. Very good. Um, we're going to continue. Okay, now we're going to speak about how difficult it is to organize. Is it to organize staff schedules? Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? What do you think? What is your opinion? If you have seen the person who organized the schedules in your in, in your company, or if you work in that specific activity, is that difficult for you? Mm hmm Someone who has a different uh who has um comment or experience doing this. Nobody. Have you experienced a difficult day in your company where probably someone is missing? Uh, and you have to cover all the activities that that employee has to do in the company. The computer tool it's it's is the is the right one, and it's the most effective. Mm -hmm. uh, the more the most difficult is about the deadlines, and the people and how do you, how do you do to the people that are working and complete the. The, the task in the in the time in the dead times okay dead time. in the i mean when you have a due date to deliver the reports or uh, the activities that need to be done at that specific day <laughs> okay so if someone 
it has a medical leave in your company, right? Or uh, has a problem that cannot go to work. How difficult is for you to organize the schedule when you are uh, understaffing? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Someone? So Andrew Stephen is that you that you I mean Falta de personal, right? That you need someone else to help you. And overstaffing is that you have over, it means that you have more employees than the ones that you need in your company. So <clears throat> that it could depends be a about. It depends about the, the how do you say? Oh. It depends the, of the people and the occupation of the, 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 the work because some some uh, some tasks are, I don't know how to say it. The, depende de la, del puesto, pero no sé cómo se dice puesto. Position. Uh, it's about a position. Some positions are very difficult to substitute with other people. Mm -hmm. Another thing. And it depends. Okay. It depends of, of the position, right? And the, dif the different tasks that the employee has to do. Okay. Good. <clears throat> okay. Have you received uh, um, news like, like this? Uh, I'm really sorry, but uh, we are over staffing. So we need to dismiss someone from the company. And you start thinking who will be that person, right? Um, it is difficult to take that decision in your company because if, if the company has good employees, right? Uh, how they are going to take the decision to to fire someone. Um, it is probably easier, it's más fácil, right? When uh, they do it uh, according to the performance that each employee has. If the employee has a good performance, it's, uh, it's difficult to tell that person, okay, this is the last, or, or you will work just the 15 days and then, so you have to stop working here. That will be difficult, right? If that employees has a, an excellent performance, but it, if the performance is not good, so it, you it, can it, say, it, it, uh -huh. if the performance is bad, it's not good, so in that case, yeah, that would be the excuse, right? So you are not doing a good job in this company. So we need to improve our quality for the reason we have decided to, to hire a new employee. Uh -huh. There are different, different situations. That is why the question is, how difficult is it to organize the staff education? Okay, think about that because later on we're going to discuss more about that situation. First, we have a, a paragraph um, conversation that is related to, to over staff or under staff. Okay, I need two volunteers that read the conversation, please. Here, teacher. Okay, Rodrigo, thank you so much. And Hazel. Okay, Rodrigo and Hazel first. Okay. Hey. Uh, I'm, I'm Gilbert or, or Laura? 
Laura and, Rod and okay. Rodrigo will be children. Okay. Laura, how do you keep this the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an, an online service so that the staff can see the schedules from the phone. Okay, that sounds like the most effic uh, efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and, and on time. Okay, Thank very good. Me. Very good. It works in these companies where uh, employees are rotated for, for different roles. For, exa for example, in the cinema, right? So there are different employees, but uh, not all of them are doing the same task every day. So they can, the supervisor or the manager can decide to do different schedules every day or every week, okay? For example, one day, uh, one employee will work as a cashier, right? Um, charging or, or selling the the tickets for the movies. The other day will be uh, selling poco popcorns. Uh, the other day will be uh, probably cleaning the the um, the bathrooms and everything in the cinema, right? The other day could be uh, doing another another activities. So they will rotate. They some companies rotate the different uh, uh roles. That is why they need to change the schedules every day or week also uh it related to the the, <clears throat> the time that they work probably um uh, some days you have to work in the morning and other days you have to work in the afternoon it depends on the company needs that is why you need to have a flexible uh schedule okay well uh, in the companies that it, everybody has the same schedule, uh, and the same role every day, that is not difficult, right? But there are different companies where it's uh necessary to have an organization of different schedules. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Rodrigo, and uh, and uh. Who was the person? I forgot. I'm sorry. Me, Hazel. Hazel, uh, <laughs> Hazel was. Okay, good. Okay, now Gilberto and Silvia, please. Okay. Gilberto, okay. you, you start. Yeah. Gilbert. Okay. <laughs> okay. Laura, how do you keep to a schedule organizing my stack? It's always complaining. Uh, I use it online service so that the staff can see their uh, schedule from their phone. That song, like the most efficient, why I bet it say a lot of time. I yes. bet. Mm -hmm. Perdón, teacher? Yes, go ahead. Ah, yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and, and on time. Organized. Organized. Mm -hmm. Okay. Complete. And on time. Oh, yes, organized and on time. Complaining. Okay, okay. yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Yes. Okay, good. Repeat, uh, Hilberto, complaining. Complaining. Schedule. It's sketching. Okay. Staff. 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 Like Staff. With F, okay? Staff. 
Okay, very good. Thank you Stop. so much. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Okay, Daniela, you will be Laura. Who wants to be Gilbert? Volunteer? Me. Me. Okay, Me. Kathy, go ahead. Okay, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule, schedule from their phone. Mom. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it's safe a long <laughs> of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Okay. Um... Who has experienced uh, is like problems of schedule organization in your company? Someone that maybe uh, your boss, your supervisor that didn't uh, send to you the, the schedule on time and you believe that you have the same, the same schedule that last week and it it is different schedule. So who has experienced that kind of issues? Nobody? Uh, teacher, uh, I think that uh, when in my company, uh, they are, uh, or we have in the company, uh, rules or politics or policies. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in, in the moment, or well, uh, they have to do other things that don't match with the the rules, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, we have two difference uh, or problem maybe which don't uh, complete. Leave problems. Like, problems. Uh, we, uh -huh. uh, yes, because the, we we have problem with porque no se cumple la política. They uh break the rules yes sometimes okay yes um probably some of you have experienced different um situations right related to 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 the hours that you have to work or the schedule time Okay, so today we're going to um, have an activity related to this topic, okay? We have questions here about that. How does your company organize schedules? Okay, volunteers to answer that. Who organizes schedules in your company, your supervisor? human resources or who do you have a whiteboard or I don't know a place where you where they post everybody's schedules it's like a dashboard dashboard uh-huh or do you yes. receive emails with the schedule uh the book team teacher in my case so we oh. have Mm -hmm. dashboard and uh, the people of the uh, auditoria interna uh, we, we sent uh, email about the bulletins that uh, in research security okay good thank you so much Carlos for your uh, information someone else Teacher. Yes, Silvia. 
Eh, in my company, in my work, este, organize schedule in the production. Who organizes it? You, Sylvia? Eh, organize schedule in the production, the organization, the eh, orden, orden era como pedido, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Order, when you place an order is when you request, uh -huh. cuando se hace un pedido. No le escuché nada, teacher, perdón. Oui, yes. Cuando usted hace un pedido, okay, you request an order. Yes, si hace un pedido, se organiza y se distribuye según el mecánico. Y ahí se distribuye en qué tiempo va a trabajarlos. Ok. So, are you the one that organize that schedule? Or someone else do it? ¿Usted lo organiza o alguien más lo hace? Hello. My job, teacher. It's your job. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, good. Okay. In your opinion, okay, that is another question, guys. In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing, okay, mucho personal, and understaffing, uh, falta de personal? Have you experienced problems in your company that you are overstaffing or understaffing? What would be the most efficient uh, way to avoid that? Uh, I think, teacher, uh, the first thing uh, we must to do is is a uh, check, first of all, uh, how many people uh, the, company is, the company have. Uh, mm -hmm. Later of that, or and or afterwards, uh, uh, know uh, the abilities and and the knowledge of everyone, and check what 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 are the activities uh, or the needs that the companies have. And ultimate, I think, uh, if you have a uh, if you have if if you have checked all of this, you need to organize uh, on teams. Uh, that is a, a that is a a task for for every manager to to make the teams and count of and count with the people of the capabilities and the knowledge to do uh, every work or task. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. In that way, uh, sorry, in that way, you you can uh I think is recognize uh, or recognize or, or no recognize uh, if you have a lack or if you have uh overstaffing in in in, in that in that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Rodrigo, someone else? Opinions? What is the most efficient Great, way? Uh -huh. Gilberto? Uh, in my opinion, the, the company, I have a problem. Uh, uh, Falta de personal, como se dice, falta. Falta de personal es under, under staffing. Under staffing. Under And, staffing. Uh -huh. Yes, under staffing. The problem the big, big, the, 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 the company, uh, And my partner in interchange company uh, uh, 
el vaccine de de Trevin the product uh, 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 very confusing from the client How many employees does your company have? Yes. How many yes. employees, Gilberto? How many? Uh -huh. How many employees? Yes. Este. So is, is it big, your company? Is it big or small? B uh, big, uh, mediana, medium. Okay, Medium. how many employees do how you many? know? Do you know, do you have an idea how many people work in that company? Yes, teacher. It's, uh, uh, se confunden mucho my partner uh, the the traveling product uh, with my client. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that will be a different problem, right? If they have a confusion, maybe it is because they didn't receive a, a efficient training. That is a different issue. But we are talking about overstaffing or understaffing, okay? So if your company has more employees that then the ones that they need, or if they have less employees, right, and they need more to, to have a better production. So that is um, what, what, I mean, that is the opinion that I am re I'm requesting right now. So, so if what is most efficient, uh, what is efficient way to avoid that problem, that kind of issues? Yes. I don't know if there are high seasons in your company. Like high season is when they have more production, right? Or they have more uh, activities to do. For example, uh, it could be in a restaurant or in a store. High season, we consider December uh -huh, because there are more customers around. They are buying more, more product. That is a high season, right, for stores or restaurants. Um, but then when they have low season, they need less employees. Okay, we're going to continue. Uh, look at these conversations and answer these questions, okay? According to the um, conversation that we had before. I will give you two minutes, okay? Just give me, I need one minute, okay? Because I need to drink a pill and I forgot to do it. So, so think about how to complete the, the two statements there, the two sentences. Okay, just a moment. Okay, I'm back. 
how will be the first one? That sounds like, according to the conversation, the most efficient way. Mm -hmm. That sounds like the most efficient way. Okay, when we talk about the most efficient, so do you remember when uh, a specific grammar point when we when we use this? Do you remember? No, not yet. Okay, we're going to see that. Okay, number two, it is the best way. Mm -hmm. It is the best way. Okay, to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, very good. Good. So, paying attention to these phrases that are in, in bold, okay, son and negrita, we're going to continue uh, the following. Okay. How to use superlative forms of adjectives. Those are superlative forms of adjectives, okay? This is irregular, irregular superlative, and this is uh, regular, okay? But we're going to study. Use the superlative form of adjective to compare more than two persons or things in a group. For example, okay, let me do it bigger. Let me see if that is possible. Yes. Excuse me, what's mean for low? What is the meaning of? For, for low? Uh, uh, F U R L O U G H. Okay, I'm sorry that I didn't get it. You said P? F. F. U. Uh -huh. R L O U G H. Oh, okay, four log. Four log, yes. Uh -huh. It is a suspension or discharge of a of a worker. Okay. For economic condition. Yes, that is meaning. When you ask uh, the uh, previous, uh, this for law could be uh, a way to uh -huh. avoid uh, over, I don't know, over what? Over, o uh, over the state, over the stating. Uh -huh. Correct. That is for economic conditions too. It is to, to save uh, resources. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Talking, continue talking about superlative form of adjectives. I mean, do it bigger. Okay, here. Oh no. Okay, the examples that we have there. Okay, Jack is the fastest server. Okay, we're talking about restaurant. Um. Jack is the fastest server. So in this case, we, we see that to, we add E S T to the regular adjective that in this case is fast, right? Other example is that was the saddest moment in the shift. Okay. Also, we double the D, letter D and we add EST, okay? The busiest hour is during lunch, okay? The same rule. The most interesting customers come to our restaurant. The difference there is that, uh -huh, when it has more than one Okay, the first three adjectives, 
they have just two syllables, okay? Or one syllable. And the example number four has two or more syllables. It is long, okay? That is why we use the most. And then the adjective in normal way, okay? So that are the regular adjectives, but we have the irregulars, okay? For example, kitchen manager have the best schedule. That is irregular. Uh-huh. I usually receive the words tips, okay? That, that is also irregular. Okay. The superlative for... um. For one syllable adjective is made of the and adjective plus est as the first three examples that we can see. Okay. And then adjectives that are two or more syllables long use the plus must plus adjective for their superlative form. As we can see, the example number four. Okay, adjectives like good and bad are called irregular uh -huh. adjectives because their superlative form don't follow the EST rule, okay? They are different, okay? That, that is why they are irregular. Do you have questions about these superlative forms? I just have a, a question. Mm -hmm. We can use a... The most fastest fastest server. No, in this no. case, no, because fast is a short adjective, right? The correct way will be the fastest server. Thanks. Mm -hmm. If we are talking about grammar, okay, correct grammar, but if you say it. Um, it is understandable. People can understand what you want to say, right? But it grammatically is not correct. Okay, good. Um, I have now an expl extra explanation and a link where we are going to see more examples. Superlative adjective is a word that describe a noun by comparing it to two or more nouns to the highest or lowest degree, okay? Superlative adjectives typically end in EST and are preceded by the word the. Comparative and superlatives adjectives are words we often see and use in our writing. Do you remember comparative? We saw that in the first week of this model. There is a difference between comparative and superlative. Do you remember the difference? Si ¿Sí recuerdan de la diferencia. More. More. Ajá. Y esta mm. es most. Ok, cuando decimos more, por ejemplo, si dijéramos, yeah. si estuviéramos hablando yeah, de... Un... Verdad, yes. Si estuviéramos hablando de comparar, yeah. si dijéramos more. Oh, and we said than. Ok. More interesting than, and we, and we mentioned the other... Uh, person right or 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 if we are comparing uh scenes we mentioned the other scenes that we are comparing estamos comparando dos cuando usamos eh, comparatives porque estamos comparando pero superlative superlative is when is the most interesting significa que ya no hay otro que ese es el más interesante okay que es el mejor, que es el más interesante. 
no lo comparamos con otros, sino que le damos un degree higher, okay? Uh, let me go to this link. Who wants to read it? Who wants to help me to read that? Just to have an overview, to have a review, and um, probably we can learn extra things in this link. Mimi. Okay, Hazel. A superlat superlative adjective. A superlative adjective stresses the extreme or highest degree of a quality. We use a superlative adjective to describe the extreme quality of one thing in a group of, of things. Mm -hmm. Very good. Superlative. Okay. Thank you so much. We can use superlative adjectives when talking about three or more things. Okay. Not no two things. Three or more. Okay. And we are talking that uh, that is the most, uh -huh, the higher, is the highest degree. Que el grado es más alto, el más. Que okay, no lo comparamos. Okay, good. Uh, in the example below, biggest is the superlative form of the adjective big. A is the biggest, okay? Tenemos la C que es más pequeña, la B es mediana, but the letter A is the biggest. Ok, estamos hablando que es la más okay. grande. grande. Ok, good. So, formation of superlative adjectives. Who wants to help me to read this part, please? Me, teacher. Okay, Sophia, thank you. Formation of superlative adjectives. As with comparative adjectives, there are two ways to form a superlative adjectives. Short adjectives are S. Long adjectives use most. We also use usually as the at the beginning. Okay. We us we also usually add the uh, at the beginning. The at the beginning. Okay, good. Short adjectives. We have here examples, syllables adjectives, for example, old, fast. Syllable adjectives and then in, in wild, happy, easy. Okay, rule at E-S-T. That is the rule. For example, old, the oldest. At the beginning, we're going to add the article, the, and then oldest. Le agregamos el objetivo normal plus E-S-T. That is the rule for short adjectives. A uh, variation, if the adjective ends in E, just add a S T. For example, late. Mm -hmm. Ya es termina con la E. Solo le agregamos la e S T. Latest. Okay. Variation, if the adjective ends in consonant. Vowel. Consonant, double, the last consonant. For example, this is a consonant. Then we have a vowel, then another consonant. In this, in this example, we double the letter at the end, G, the biggest. Another vari variation is if the adjective ends in Y, change the Y to I. For example, happy, the happiest. Okay? That are the exceptions. Questions about these rules? For sure, adjectives. No? Easy? Like a piece of cake? Okay. 
We have long adjectives, syllable adjective not ending in uh, Y. Okay, moderate, pleasant. All adjectives of three or more syllables. For example, expensive, intellectual. Rule, use most. In this case, we are going to use most, modern, the most modern, okay? And we're going to, uh-huh, we're going to use most. Expensive, the most expensive. Okay, just allow me a moment. The lady is sending me uh, messages. Let me see what is. Okay. Okay, lady. Is it still here, lady? No, right? Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. No problem. Don't worry. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Exam uh, questions about this? No. Okay, so in that case, we're going to create some examples to see if you know how to apply them. Okay, with with some two syllables adjective, we can use EST or most. Okay, uh -huh. but there are exceptions. Okay, son excepciones. Con algunos podemos utilizar ambos. Okay but not with all, all of them. For example, quiet, the quietest, or most quiet, okay? Clever, the cleverest, or most clever. Narrowed, the narrowest, or most narrowed. Simple, the simplest, or most simple, okay? You decide there is no specific scenario where you're going to use one way and the other one, but you decide how to use it, but both are valid. Okay. And the following adjectives are irregular forms as the ones that we be, that we reviewed before. For example, good, the best. Bad, the worst. Far, the farthest or the, the farthest, okay? Just one letter change. Use as of superlative adjectives. For example, okay, we have here examples. Uh, as you can see, okay, you can, you can see the examples here. They are talking about distances length, hours. Okay. Okay, well, do we have a quiz? Let me see, we have a quiz. Yes, we have a quiz. How many questions it has? It has just 10. Okay, let me send the link for this quiz and you are going to do it by yourself. And at the end, we're going to share the answers. See, uh, where do you need the link? By WhatsApp group or Zoom? I think in the in the tool, in the tool. Two of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. In okay. both. Both, okay. Send it. Let me see what is was. It is. There you have it. Okay, I will give you from five to ten minutes to do it. Take your time.
Ready? Object. Finish. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, Hazel, tell me the number one, which option is the correct one? Okay, let me see. I will answer three or more. Three or more. Okay, good. Okay, number two, um, Gilberto, which is correct. None of our players is taller than uh, James. He's our... Thomas. Most taller. Remember that is a short adjective. Tall is short. Will be? Tallest. Mm -hmm. He's our tallest player. Mm -hmm. Number three, Carlos. Uh, give me one second. Uh, number two, it is. Okay, E S T. Many adjectives. With one syllable can be changed into the superlative form by adding EST. Okay, good. Which is correct? 
Uh, let me see. Julio Aristides, which is correct. That was. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a second. Uh, number? Four. Four. Uh, the scariest. Scariest. Okay. The scariest uh -huh. movie I've ever seen. Movie I've, uh, I've, I've ever seen. Yes. Okay. Good. Me salió una mala. No problem. It's okay. okay. Um, let me see. Rolando Danilo, are you there? Just a chair. Okay, number number five. Which is correct? Mm. Do you really think Japanese is the world? Uh -huh. What is the correct um Japanese the worst languages? Uh the most difficult. The most difficult. Okay, because this is a long adjective, right? Very good. Maria Leticia, number six. Okay. All adjectives of three or more syllables are made correlated by using. Uh huh. By using. Maria Leticia, oh, Sadio Yente. Okay, Daniela. Are you available, Daniela? Yes, is okay. most. Mm -hmm. Is most, teacher. Okay, most. Good. All adjectives of three or more syllables are made superlative by using most. Okay, good. Number seven, Andres. Yes, teacher. Mm hmm. Which is the superlative form of the adjective clever? Mm, I think, teacher, that is number three, cleverest or most clever. Okay, very good. Because we have an exception, right, with this adjective. Could be both. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. Number eight, uh, Rodrigo, please read it and give me the correct one. Eight, right? Number eight. Mm -hmm. Ariana sang her last, her last song and the best of her old songs. Okay, very good. The best. Number nine, Sofia. Yes, teacher. Number nine is the hostess. Please read the complete um sentence. In in two thousand nineteen, NASA started to the previous five years where the hostess ever recorded the hot uh -huh, the hottest ever recorder okay very good number 10 <clears throat> mauricio buruca oh está de oyente mauricio benavides please Okay, she's the superlative form. It's like it's looked like our words, fears are coming through. Okay. Very good on the words. Sorry. We're going to check. <clears throat> oh. I will have 90. Be sure. Yes. Sure. Excuse me. Uh, what is the exception of the clever? Oh, that it could be both. 
most clever or the cleverest? Cleverest. Ah, I can use uh, both. Both. Mm -hmm. Correct. Both. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. I guess I made a mistake here. Which one? The best. Uh huh. Clever. We are okay. Most number six is okay. Number five, most difficult is okay. The scariest is okay. Oh, I missed to answer one this here. But was the number three? I didn't answer. <clears throat> okay, good. Very good practice. I consider that you are prepared with this topic. Okay, good. Thank you so much. So now, we're going to underline the correct word or, or phrase, okay? We have already the number one that says the most important uh -huh. thing is to find a substitute for sick employees, okay? Number two, Carlos? Uh... Don't use the best. Don't use the best. Schedule as a reward. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Number three, uh, Rodrigo. Uh, Jane is the fastest waitress. The first one, the fastest. Mm -hmm. Fastest. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Andres, number four. The delivery orders are the most popular right now. Uh -huh. Excellent. Gilberto, number five. The restaurant has the pretties. Uh, decoration. Very good. Thank you. Hazel number six. The kitchen manager works longest shift. The longest shift. The first one, yes. The longest shift. Okay, very good. Good. Thank you so much. All of them are good. Okay. Good practice. Okay. Now I want that you think about these strategies. Okay. I, you are going to work in teams. It says, which of these strat strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? So that was the, the questions at the beginning. And we're going to discuss then using the um, superlative adjectives, okay? We have here uh, some ideas. For example, number one, it says, provide the schedule to your employees quickly, okay? That is one. Number two, find a method to communicate quickly with employees. For example, groups, right, or emails. Uh -huh. uh, number three, take working preferences into an account, okay? Number four, schedule having your employees' strength in mind. Okay. Number five, allow for changes in the schedule. Okay. Number six, prevent absenteeism 
using phone reminders. Okay, like messages, text messages, or any any tool that you can use to send messages. Okay, those are uh, strategies to consider effective to avoid, okay, both issues, overstaffing and under, understaffing. But first, we're going to read this article that is about that. Is your business business overstaffed or understaffed? Okay. Please uh, help me to read. Well, I need one volunteer that help me to read the first paragraph. <clears throat> Really, okay, right? just read the paragraph here. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, there are many dilemmas that a business could have, but tutoring particular can be very problematic. First, a business may have more employees than what is needed. This resulting in employees being paid to do nothing. Second, mm -hmm. a business may have fewer employees than what it's needed. This results in poor customer service. A business that doesn't understand how to deal with being overstaffed, overstaffed or understaffed. It's not working in the right direction. Uh-huh. Discussion about that. Do you remember? <clears throat> At the beginning, we were talking about that, that we need to have a balance because if we have overstaffed, overstaffed, okay, overstaffed or understaffed, we can have issues in the company and it's not working in the right direction. Okay, good. Number, uh, paragraph number two, Andres. Okay, teacher. Why begin over stuff uh, is bad for business. <clears throat> Overstaffing often happens when a business experience a sudden boom boom that is followed by a sudden decline. Some companies see the need to hire additional workers during their peak season but they often commit to the mistake of hiring regular employees. Thus, when lean seasons comes, they have more workers than needed to handle the limited work. Our staffing can lead to bankruptcy, bankruptcy, bankruptcy because oh, of because of wasted money on wage. Correct. Good. Very good. Uh -huh. As uh, we were speaking at the beginning, it could be, right, that in some uh, month of the year, like December, that are, that are, that are more sales and production, probably. So the company need more staff and there is higher more stuff right some of the the company said that it will be just for a, a temporary work for two or three months only right and the the employees are conscious that they will work just for that period right but uh if they continue having the same uh, employees for the rest of the month yes bankruptcy can happen because uh, there is no mm, enough money to pay all the employees, right? Okay, very good. Thank you Did so you... much. Yes? Yeah, can you repeat again the, the, the bankruptcy? Okay, let me, let me do it with the robot. <laughs> 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 Okay, it is bank bankruptcy. 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 
Oh, yes. Ba bankruptcy. 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 Mm -hmm. bankruptcy. Oh. Yes. <clears throat> Good. Number. Yes, bancarrota. Bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Okay, next paragraph. A volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. Boy being in the staff is back for business. In the other hands, on the staffing could result in low customer satisfaction. For in times, if you have three questions in urgent need of how, of how is the reception, if you only had one reception staff, you may in a week negative feedback from the other to west in the long room. This might greatly affect your overall customer satisfaction and could decrease customer relation. Retention. Retention. Mm -hmm. Guest. Guest. Guests are like the clients, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. When we have understaffed, yes. And we have just uh, the example that is given here, right? That, for example, there are three guests waiting, right? But there is just one reception staff. So staff. the others, the others are guests. They need to, they have to wait. I don't know for how long, right? Uh, and the uh, reception staff will attend, will assist uh, one by one, right? So it's when uh, another uh, reception staff is needed. Okay, good. Okay. How to monitor over staffing and under staffing? Volunteer? <clears throat> hey, teacher. Okay, Sophia. How to monitor over staffing and under staffing. Now, how will you know if your business is over staffed or under staffed? Here are some of the situations that you may en encounter. Number one, your business is under staffed if tasks that need to be completed remain un finished because there is not enough staff available to take care of them. Number two, your business is overstaffed if you hire too many works. If you give too many works chief when your forecast is low and if there is not increase in productivity. Mm -hmm. Very good. How to monitor that, right? There you have the examples. How to identify if your company is overstaffed or understaffed. Okay, good. Uh, there are more um, information about how to handle overstaffed and understaffed to deal with these problems here we have some tips that you may consider who wants to read the tips volunteer me teacher okay rodrigo okay uh, the number one take uh, this one the 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 four the four points right correct okay take note of big seasons Peak hours, slow hours, and lean seasons. Provide your employees with time off, schedule preference, and even a list of holidays for them to note. Distribute schedules in advance to make sure conflicting schedules can be easily, easily fixed. Provide a group of off-on-call people who can be easily contacted in case you need additional help at work. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, there are some tips that you may consider to handle 
being overstaffed and understaffed. Okay, good. So now you are going to try to analyze these uh, strategies, okay? To avoid these situations, to avoid these problems, okay? I'm going to give you, okay, we are now 918, okay, from 920 to 9, 15 minutes, that will be okay. Just take notes about the ideas, okay? We see. 9.35, you will be back. Okay, let me open the rooms. Take, uh, thinking of other strategies that you can um, consider to avoid this kind of issues in a company. Okay. Okay, going to assign three per each group. Oh, and the and Rolando and Sofia, you were missing the activity from yesterday, so you will be able to do it today. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, good. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Andres, Carlos, and Daniela, you will be the first, the first team. Okay, Gilberto, Hazel, and Julio, you are the second. Katy, uh, Mauricio Benavides, and Rodrigo, you are the third one. Okay, Sofia, Rolando, I need that confirmation from Silvia, Maria Leticia, and Lady, if you are available, please. Yes, teacher. You are. Okay, lady. What about you, Maria Leticia? Eh, sigo de oyente, teacher, porque ando fuera de, de casa y mi señal no, no la ando tan buena en el celular. Okay. Good. Okay. Silvia, what about you? Hola, teacher. Fíjese que tengo una reunión familiar, pero estoy como oyente ahorita. Ah, okay. It's okay. Gracias. Well, thank you. Okay. Lady, Rolando, and Sofia, you will be the other team. Okay. Let me open the rooms. Clear what you are going to discuss, guys. Is it clear? Teacher, all items to discuss. I mean, those are examples, right? Okay, the one that that you have here, but you can discuss more. Okay, take another strategies, thinking of different strategies oh, okay. to avoid over stuffing and under stuffing. Okay. Okay. Um, if you want, I can send the link that you just read. Maybe that help you. Okay. okay. Let me open the rooms and I will send that link to, to the WhatsApp or Zoom chat. Okay, good. Julio and Rolando, please accept the invitation.
este, no tener este, mucho personal o sobre personal. Avoid to overstuffing and under something. Overstuffing, understuffing, yeah. I Yeah. think that an overstuffing is like um, como contract from de como de como el perfil adecuado hacia la plaza que necesita Yes. tendría que ser como Uh, teacher. Hi, Carlos. The bride profile from the background. Ah, ok. Optimi optimizar los perfiles, algo así. Op Optimize the Optimize. resources. Uh -huh, the, oh, the... Yes. the profiles, did you know? Profiles, yes. Mm -hmm. Or you can say uh, human uh, resources. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> recursos humanos. <laughs> uh, I, I don't understand the truth. Los recursos humanos, we can say human resources, right? Yes, but uh, any company don't have human resources like that. No, 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 no me refiero en sí al departamento de los recursos humanos. No, ajá, sino cómo optimizar el recurso humano. Ah, ah, ah ok, ok, I got Optimize it. the human resource. Teacher, the other... Um, uh, I don't know. The other idea could be um, reorganize, uh, reorganize, re reorganize the shift. The schedule. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, it's like uh, how to do a schedule that the or create a chief that the people uh, work maybe all day 24 hours and, and try to consider day off on the end of the week maybe in recortar personal but... Mm -hmm. but that is another another option that almost all the companies take right They yes. reduce the personal. Yes. When they need this, they hire new personal. And when they don't need them, just say, no, right? So we need to stop your, your contract here. But there are some companies that they are more conscious and they said, okay, I need personal just for the high season, the peak season, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. You will have this job just for a couple of months, or it's just a, a yeah, project. It could be mm -hmm. higher seasonal stuff. Sorry, Andres. Higher seasonal stuff. Uh huh. Okay. Or contratar por temporada. Yes. <clears throat> Temporary positions. What is correct? Seasonal, seasonal stuff. Seasonal stuff, yes. Seasonal stuff. Yes. Okay. Teacher, uh, the other idea is I use break and lunch. Uh, maybe trading a schedule. Es como ajustar los horarios de comida o adjust, uh -huh, adjust, uh -huh. adjust the, the schedules. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That not all people will have the same time, the break or or lunch, right? They they will be uh different uh hours to cover yeah. all the the day. Okay. Yes. Good. 
-hmm. Okay. Just try to um, create that the um, strategies, right? That you consider that will avoid yes. that overstuffing or understuffing. Okay, teacher. And grab two auction Carlos in the in the chat. So. Oh, I need to allow you to move to. Ah, uh, to my the human resource five seasonal stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I already activate the the participants can share their screens if you want to share their screens. Okay. Okay. Good. Let me go to check another rooms. But good job. Okay. Another one could be. Es un método que no puede asumir demencia ni nada con solo el personal, mm -hmm. correo, WhatsApp, o sea, mm -hmm. información continua, ¿verdad? Así es. Y, y sí, sí, en la primera, pues, la, la comunicación inmediatamente de las reglas, ¿verdad? Los nuevos Lo más empleados, rápido ¿verdad? posible. Mm -hmm. Eso genera yo, el audio más facilidad. No Sí, don Gilberto. No, en julio no funciona su audio, creo yo. Definitivamente. He says that he has some um, uh, problem with the electricity. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Miss, we're going to discuss the five po the six points. And we going to classify for the relevance, right? For us, relevance for us. If you want, yes. If you want to create okay. new strategies, you can add more. Okay, we're talking about to create one of the strategies. It can be to create a sizing for the department. Okay. Okay. Good. Don Don Gilberto, algo más que se le ocurra agregar? No, me parece bien las la cuatro que escogimos, ¿verdad? Ok. So, sería el, el number pro, one. El provide, el provide, sí, el number one, number uh -huh. two, okay. el number four de uh -huh. Y number de, five. Y number five. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Y la que menos, la número seis. Sí. Ok. Tal vez por lo que no estamos más que todo con los que trabajan en, en ese tipo de comunicación, ¿verdad? Porque ellos sí tienen métodos más especializados, ¿verdad? Que es un Para método... el ausentismo, a lo mejor puede ser que se lleve un control de las incapacidades, que eso es medical leave podría ser se me ocurre de repente tener un control de incapacidad porque puede ser que bueno de hecho yo estuve en ese en ese contact center en el covid y qué horrible era cruzar <risa> cuando regresaba uno y cuando venía el otro entonces llevamos un control de incapacidades a record for medical leave maybe Sí, uh -huh. la verdad que ese COVID uh -huh. como nos encerró, ¿verdad? Pero yo estaba en el yo estaba en el edificio Venezuela del Cuscatlán trabajando presencial. De repente se me enfermaba uno de una bahía, caía otro de otra y así nos tocaba. Y aunque Entonces, y como ¿sí? eso era tanta la alarma, aunque no era COVID, ya no iba uh -huh. uno, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces nosotros los supervisores nos sentábamos y cuadrábamos. ¿Cuándo regresa el suyo? ¿Y cuántos tiene? ¿Y cuándo viene el otro? <ríe> sí, qué, qué difícil se vivió ver sí. esos tiempos. ¿verdad? Entonces, puede ser que en una planta con muchas personas, más de alguna incapacidad, choque. Entonces, podría ser to create a record for medical leave. ¿Sabes cómo se escribe medical leave? Uh 
eh, don Gilberto. Medical League. Lib. L. Lib. Ajá. L. L. E. A. I. E. I. L. B. 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 I. B. I. Lib. Correcto. Ok. Eh, esa sería como una opción extra, ¿verdad? Yes, that's right, don't be perfect. Ok. Oh, ok. El problema tema con el overstaking es que usted está pagando gente sin necesitarlo. Sí, es difícil, ¿verdad? Y en el understaking usted no tiene suficiente gente para cubrir. Entonces cualquiera de las dos cosas es complicado. Overstaking es la, es la, es la deficiencia. Es ten, no, over es tener mucho. Tiene sobre. Sobre, sobre. Ajá. Sobre trabajador, sobre Ajá, mano decir, de obra, se puede decir. Uh -huh. o, pero... Correcto. Y, y en el under usted tiene muy poquito. No le alcanza para producir. Ok. Sí me escuchan, Hazel. ¿Ahora? Ahora sí. Sí. Es sí. que tengo un problema. Ay, no. Se me ha frisado la pantalla y no puedo salir de ahí. Dice, dice no responden. Y ya lleva como cinco minutos así. Pero sí los, o sea, yo puedo escucharlos. Pero no, ya no me deja como controlar yo. Regresar. La miren. Ajá. Ya, y si vuelvo a entrar, creo que los pierdo a ustedes. O sea, es como que ya no lo voy a poder recuperar. Sí, se le va a reiniciar, tendría que ajá, reiniciar la reunión como al inicio. Ay, sí. Así nos pasó en una ocasión y eso. Pero entonces todos se tendrían que volver a unir porque ahorita no están. Ay, Dios. <ríe> terrible, terrible. ¿Sí me escuchan? Sí. 